almost a year since Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine, Kiev may finally be getting the artillery it needs to drive Russian forces from their land. Several countries have pledged to send tanks to strengthen President Vladimir Zelensky's forces. And one tank in particular is seen as a potential game-changer, Germany's Leopard 2. With a reputation built over 50 years, the Leopard is regarded as one of the best tanks in the world. What is the Leopard 2? And what does it mean for Ukraine's war against Russia? First produced in the late 1970s, the Leopard 2 stands out for its firepower, mobility and armour. Despite weighing in at 55 tonnes, the tank can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometres per hour. Its main weapon is a 120mm smoothbore gun, able to engage moving targets at long range. Modern optics like thermal imaging allow it to operate day and night. And in battle, its four-man crew is protected from threats such as mines, anti-tank fire and improvised explosive devices. In Singapore, the Leopard 2 forms a critical part of the armed forces arsenal. What we normally see during the National Day Parade is an upgraded version, the Leopard 2 SG main battle tank. Singapore sought the German-made refurbished um, Leopard tanks as a replacement for its SM-1 tanks, which were by then more than 40 years old. Then Defence Minister Teo Chi Hien in 2006 said they were a very cost-effective option among the alternatives being considered and that they provided a good baseline for further upgrades. It also had a very good reputation amongst defence watchers as being one of the world's best tanks. Some analysts believe the Leopard 2 could make a significant impact in Ukraine's battle against its hostile neighbour. Several dozen of the tanks are expected to be deployed, but there is a question of whether they will be enough or in time. Ukraine forces will also need time to learn how to use them, as the Leopard 2 is far more complex than the Soviet-era tanks Ukraine currently uses. So Ukraine will still need to decide actually how they use these tanks. You know, do they put them straight into the fight as soon as they're available, or do they integrate them into larger formations, train and rehearse at those larger formations, and spend a bit more time integrating them into the way that they fight to then potentially use in the summer? It is hoped by Kyiv that other European countries can supply more from their stock of leopards and that this powerful armoured beast will be the key to turning the tide in the war.